Kidwings creates engaging media that brings the remarkable world of top predators into your place of learning. Kidwings Explores creates online films, labs, and activities that inspire the next generation of wildlife stewards and enthusiasts. Thanks for watching Kidwings Explores. What we're gonna do here today is look into this barn and uh, we're gonna look for evidence that there are barn owls here. So an important consideration when you're approaching anywhere where you suspect there is a barn owl is just to simply be really quiet. We're gonna enter this structure and uh, we're gonna go in very quietly. We're gonna look for signs. And as we do, I'm gonna talk to you about what makes this a great home for a barn owl. Right now we can see evidence that there are barn owls here. The, the most obvious sign is a, something we call a bone pile. Another indication is an actual barn owl feather. And barn owl feathers have a fantastic construction. But we're gonna put this back because we wanna leave this as natural as possible. I want to be really respectful. We're usually on private property, people who we've talked to about ahead of time. Oh, here's some great signs. Another feather from a barn owl. So I can tell by this feather, it's slightly larger than the last one. This plumage would indicate that this is an adult barn owl. Another sign that there's a barn owl in this structure is obviously a barn owl pellet. Now, owl pellets tell us a lot of information. Uh, they not only tell us what the animal is eating by dissecting the pellet, and we find the bones in there, we find the fur of their prey, and depending on where the pellet comes from in the region, we know what type of birds they're eating, and, uh, and voles, or mice, or shrews. One of the other signs that we find when we're looking for barn owls, and when we find them, is whitewash that appears on boards and on glass. Now it alone is not an indication that we're near a barn owl, but when it's paired up with the feather and the pellet, we know that this is a home for a barn owl. I'm gonna climb up into this loft and see what I can find. Oh yeah, this is good. This is not just good, this is great. First of all, there's barn owl pellets all over the floor, but it's also all the indications of what makes this a great home for barn owls. There are three main things that make this a great, great place for a barn owl to make a home. And the most important thing is safety because they wanna be out of the way of predators. Another thing is darkness. Since they hunt at night, they sleep during the day. So they're looking for some place that is quiet and dark during the day. Now there's another thing too. There's a really easy way in and an easy way out. So if something comes in and threatens them, they can get out of there if they choose to. We study barn owls for a variety of reasons. First of all, there's just an abundance of information out there because they're the most densely populated owl and bird in the world, where they're found on every continent. Barn owls are somewhat of a keystone species, and one barn owl can consume 2,500 rodents or prey in a year. It's a bit of a misnomer to call it a barn owl because originally they, they are cavity dwellers. So historically, barn owls have used any available cavity and that might be the cavity of a tree, it might be the fronds of a palm tree, uh, but it's also cutouts in the earth that can be burrowed into by birds and owls who are nesting there. And in that situation, you can see an entire food chain from the insects down at the bottom of the cut bank to the, the birds that feast on the insects to the owl that feasts on the birds. 
So why do we think barn owls are cool? First of all, anybody can go out and look at a barn owl. Just find a place, look for the signs that we've given you today, find them and very quietly go in and take a look and, and find a barn owl. You'll be amazed. But not only are they cool for that reason, they're cool for education because from, from small children to adults, dissecting barn owl pellets and learning about owls just captivates everybody's imagination. Kid Wings and Owl Brand Discovery Kits have a wealth of information where you can learn more details about barn owls and why we study them. Go to kidwings.com or obdk.com and click on the resources tab. If you go to kidwings.com, you can actually dissect an owl pellet online. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Kid Wings Explores. Next month, we're gonna talk about hunting, we're gonna talk about nesting, and we're gonna talk about vantage positions. Vantage positions are the ideal place for a barn owl to roost so that it can fly over a field and stalk its prey. How cool is that? Join us next month.